Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Vuvalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, chesh, and yak shimash. So today we're going to do something a little bit different because I'm not actually using my phone to do the filming on today. I'm using Habilux's phone because today's video is going to be based on this phone. If I unplug the little charger that I have here, I have used this power bank. Um, it's really good. It lasts for ages. It's really good. So this is the phone. This is my iPhone 7 Plus, and this is the one that I use to do all my filming, photography, and everything on. And I have this protective case on it because, not with this phone, but the previous phone. I mean, I have dropped this a couple of times, um, but it hasn't done any damage to it, thankfully, because I always use a big case on it. But... I wanted to try a case where you can make it completely waterproof so that's the phone and it's in really good condition it does need a clean up so what I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of a clean before oops, before I progress with the video because this phone needs to be lovely and clean first before I put it in its new case so I bought a special case for it that I can use um, underwater because um, I want to film in the pond. Don't ask. Uh, so I thought, oh, well, let's have a try of these um, waterproof cases. They weren't too expensive. I did a lot of research on it, watched, l read a lot of reviews on them, and I picked one, and I'll put the link below in the video description, and here we have it here. So let me put you down, and I've already opened the packet. And this is what arrived. There we go. So this is the waterproof case for the iPhone. Now, it's got instructions on the inside. Waterproof explanation. The product has passed the waterproof test in 2 meters water depth for 30 minutes. It has to be assembled to do the test. The product has went through strict tests before exiting the factory. Do not peel off the waterproof film or remove other parts when you receive the product. Unscrew the bolts, insert the mobile and then you could use it. So it's been translated. Uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Installation explanation. Okay. Unscrew the six screws on the protection case with a small tool. So you, it comes with two small tools, a small little Allen key, and another little Allen key like there. That's quite handy to use, actually. And there are six screws, it says. So if I bring you guys a little bit closer and put you down. There we go. I'm not very good at this. Uh, right, that's the dishwasher finished. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to pause this now. Okay, we're back. Let me just have a little sip of my glass of schlö. Lovely. Six screws. One. Okay, so let's undo the screws. Using this little Allen key. I picked the yellow colour because I thought it was quite nice. Nice and bright. Now I have accidentally dropped my phone in the sink before now. And it was perfectly fine. Whereas I think with one of my older iPhones, if I'd have dropped it in the sink, it would have been pretty much the end of it. So I'm just taking out these six screws. Unscrew the six screws that blah 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 small so open the top cover and take out the paper board and the spare screw pack. So let's take off the cover. This is the paper cardboard. Oh wow. And inside we have a little cleaning cloth, a little lanyard, and three spare screws and this foam insert. Okay. Uh, oh, it's on all different, okay. 
Get the mobile prepared. Do not paste any screen protect film on the mobile. So I don't have a screen protector on my phone, so that's not a problem. Uh, installation explanation point two. After clean the mobile surface with the cleaning cloth, switch on the mute button of the mobile and the protection case. What? Switch on the mo. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, hang on a second. So I have cleaned the phone, but I'm going to just give the little lens in there a little wipe over. And I'm going to give the inside of this a little wipe over just to make sure that there's no issues. The one thing I'm kind of worried about this is that how it's going to affect sound getting into it. If it makes everything all muffled, then I'm not going to be able to use it for filming. So I've been wiped that. I'm going to wipe the screen. Actually, I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode. So the screen is now absolutely clean. Uh, switch on the mute button of the mobile and the protection case. I can't work that out. Okay, so basically it's on mute. So if I put the case in like it says, so there we go, it's inside. Uh, insert the mobile into the silicone case inclined and put on the back cover so maybe okay hang on let's take it back out so it is on mute and maybe you have to slide it in this way first and then push that side in possibly I don't know give it another wipe make sure nothing is stuck on it there we go uh, installation number three, when the mobile is inserted well into the silicone case, toggle the mute button to see if it is in position and check the surrounding waterproof strips. Uh, I don't really know. Right, this is the, there's the button on the side here that makes sure you can possibly change it. It's still on mute. Ah, right, okay, there's a little switch here, so. Okay, so there's a little button there that makes it switch off from not mute to, to mute. So. So I can remember if I'm meh here. This little button here is the one that's got to be making it switch on to mute. Right, it's on mute. I don't know. I'll check it when it's in its case anyway. Okay. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. And surrounding waterproof strips. Well, appears to be okay. So that's the back of it there. Put that back into position. Next. Clean and install top cover of the case. Check if the mute button could be toggled normally and screw tight the screws. Regular tight is fine. The screw will be broken if it's too tight. All right, okay. So, right, last wipe over of the screen. Last wipe over of the inside of that screen. Then I should put that on like so. Now this toggle button. 
Right, so there's a toggle button here, so I need to make sure it'll switch off and on. But I can't tell. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, right, so okay, so that's fine, that works. Turn it back off. After all, right, blah, blah, blah. So now I need to put all the screws, the six screws back in. Regular tight, not super tight. So I'm gonna put these in diagonally. I'm not gonna tighten them up completely. I'm just gonna screw them in so they're in position. This, the, this does make it very heavy. This is a metal case and it is, it does make the phone very, very chunky and very, very heavy. But to be honest, it doesn't really bother me. Right. Okay, so the six screws are in. I'm now gonna tighten them up to finger tight and not super tight, like it says. I guess people would sort of like maybe over tighten them thinking that they're doing it justice for it to be super tight not to let any water in but oh it's 600 o'clock so there we go the phone is now in the case I can toggle the ringer on and off so that is very good yep that's working fine I can get access into the phone now the only thing when you look at the bottom here, this is what you undo for plugging in the adapter. Now, the issue is, if you are using the original adapter, that will fit in fine and charge it up. But if I was, for example, using the charger that I use on my iPad, this one, this would not work because it is too chunky there it has to be as you can see it has to be the slim one to fit in so i put that back in yeah and it charges up fine now the only issue i think it possibly might have is because it's got the little port there for the um for the sound for the speaker oh there's dexter so let's play something let's play a youtube video let's go into youtube oh hang on a second i'm in airplane mode let me turn it off airplane mode because i was filming let's go into youtube let's go into subscriptions who's first on the list is richard bylot so let's have a listen Well, it sounds fine. There's Richard. Hello, Richard. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> so I can hear him fine. The sound on it is pretty good. That's not a problem. Thank you, Richard, for that. Uh, let's try a song. Let's try something from Charlie Puth. This can't be long because otherwise I'll get a um, copyright uh, thingy. Um, let's try this. It does affect the sound a bit. Um, let me move the song forward. So it does muffle the sound a little bit coming out of it. But to be honest, I, ne I, I never use the speaker on this much anyway. I always connect it up to something which is um, like a wireless speaker or my car or something. Right, okay. Biggest test now is the waterproof thing. So let's put it on camera. There we go. Hello, I can see you. I'm not gonna be able to test this until I actually um, download the video. So I'm gonna 
do some speaking with it and take this camera out and we will see how it works. So hang on a second, I need to turn you around. Cameras working at the same time here. So what we're gonna do, we're at the front of the pond, is put it in the pond really and um, let's have a look. Okay, so I've had it in the pond for approximately a minute. It's still filming, so if I press stop. Probably not gonna work because my fingers are So we're back, it's the next day, and I have been using this phone case all day whilst in work, and even though I found it uh, maybe a little bit heavy, I didn't really have any problems with it. I thought it was very robust, I thought it was very good. So when I came home, oh, okay, the only thing was I couldn't play any sounds properly because the sounds were terribly muffled. Um, it didn't sound very good at all. So... That was okay, and I came home and I thought, right, okay, I will try it again in the water. And the ingression of water this time was really bad. I don't know if you can see in there. I mean, it didn't flood it or whatever, but there's, there's definitely a heck of a lot more water considering it's supposed to be watertight. And on the screen, I don't know if you can see there, water droplets and the big smear and in the back here as well there's water droplets as well so it didn't do a good job at all um so i'm going to stop using it because there's no way i'm going to be able to record these videos using it because the sound is going to be really really muffled 
So, unfortunately, I am not going to be using it. I will possibly use it in the future for something. But the thing about it is, is because it muffles the sound, I can take pictures with it. As you can see, the second video that I've put up um, is of the pond uh, today. So the picture quality is very good. It doesn't do any compromise with the picture quality. There is a little bit of sound um, that comes through. But it, it's no good because it's just going to ingress in water and it's going to end up damaging the phone in the end. So I'm not going to be able to use it. And everything was sealed up properly exactly the way it's supposed to be. And yet it's still let in water. And it wasn't even deep. It was only, you know, you could see how deep it was. So unfortunately, this is a big no-no and I cannot recommend it because I don't find it very good at all. But like I said, if you're going on an adventure holiday and you're going to take photographs, it'll work really well. If you want to be recording video and stuff, it'll do the visual very good, but you won't get very good sound on it. It's going to muffle the sound and damage your phone, so this isn't going to be used unless I go on safari somewhere and I don't want to be using this. But very disappointing, to be honest, because it's really, you know, it seems like it's really well quality made, but I'm afraid it's not fit for purpose. So I'm not going to put it back together yet because I want it to completely dry out before I put it away. So, unfortunately, I cannot recommend this at all. It is, look for the brand. That was, there's not really a brand on it, to be honest. It's, it says waterproof case on the back here. Um, IP68 H20 submersible, there's no real brand with it. Uh, it's just got the, the phone there. Um, so yeah, not gonna recommend this at all. Um, not very good. Like I said, if you want it to be rugged, then it is very good. But if you want it to be waterproof, or you want it to um, use it for the for video for sound, then I can't recommend it for that. If you want one just literally for its ruggedness and to protect, then that's fine. I can I can I can vouch for that. But um, for its purpose that I wanted it, it's no good. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. i got stacks more videos coming up. I'm trying to do as many gadgets as I can because I'm a bit of a gadget fan. I love all my gadgets. Uh, unfortunately, this one I can't say is very good. So anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.